Hey guys, so we are back and we are very sorry. Uh, we have been gone from our YouTube channel for quite some time. I think the last video we put up was Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah, it was like three or four weeks ago. Yeah, uh, we've been moving. Uh, like we can live in a completely new place now. Obviously. Yeah, so we have a new set and I know it's not as like, uh, like colorful, I guess you could say, or exciting as our last set. We're still trying to figure things out. Um, we don't even know if this is what it's gonna look like completely right now. I'm um, hoping to get posters up in the background yeah, too. Yeah, maybe like a shelf or something just so we can put stuff up. Uh, let us know uh, what you think about our new set, maybe if you like it or not. Uh, but anyways, uh, today we went to go see the week old movie, Happy Time Murders, because uh, the only other movie that came out today was called Ken. And I had no interest in seeing that movie whatsoever. Uh, the guy from Transformers, right? Yeah, the guy, the the guy from Our Transformers, Jackson. the guy from uh, the second Ninja Turtles movie, <laughs> you know. So I looked at that movie, I was like, you know what, I'll have to pass on that. That's the new movie I'll have to pass. But we saw Happy Time Murders today. Yeah, which Happy Time Murders is directed by uh, Brian Henson, who's the son of Jim Henson, the guy who created the Muppets. Yeah, and this movie stars Bill Beretta, uh, Melissa McCarthy, and Maya Rudolph. And in this film, there are a series of murders that seem to be targeting the cast of a old beloved show called Happy Time. I don't even know what the show is. Happy was it Happy Time Game or Happy Time? Happy Time something. <laughs> Horsing around. Yeah. It's... <laughs> okay, I don't know. I, know. I, know. <laughs> I thought you were about to start talking. I know, I know, I know, where, know where to go. I know. <laughs> I know where to go. So Detective Phil Phillips and Detective Connie Edwards are put on the case to try and solve these murders. Now the first thing I want to say is going into this movie, I didn't expect it to be good like at all. I I I I was I was kind of excited for it whenever I first saw the trailer, and I was kind of excited just to go into it cuz it seemed like a cool idea. And it is a cool idea, but I wasn't expecting it to be very good. And uh, I was correct on that assessment uh and yeah. the movie is not very good, uh, honestly. Yeah, uh, going into it, I probably wasn't as pessimistic as Marquez going into it. I mean, I didn't really expect it to be like a great movie or anything, but the trailer, after seeing the trailer, the first one, uh, it was it actually looked like really funny, but, yeah. uh, and when I first saw it, I was like, what the crap is this? Yeah. But at the same time, it was pretty hilarious. Yeah, and but, this this movie, when I used to the trailer, it's kind of like, this movie is either going to be like genius and awesome, or like complete, total garbage. <laughs> and thankfully... Going in, it wasn't complete garbage. Yeah. Like it did have some some decent elements to it. It just yeah. overall the execution of those elements wasn't very good. Yeah, the, the, uh, that's pretty much exactly how I feel. I feel like there's moments where I'm like, wow, that actually was a pretty good uh, move yeah. and pretty good idea. And pretty like you said, the pretty much the whole idea is a good idea, yeah. and it could have been a really funny idea. And I really think the idea of the puppets. You could see it as being harmful to the movie, but I really think it could have been like a new kind of, not like like making it to where all movies are not puppets, but like a new kind of thing where you see this and you're like, oh, well, that's really cool. Because the actual story, which I'm not going to go into it very deeply, just because any more than my summary could be spoilers. Um, but the actual story and things that happen in the movie are actually pretty decent ideas. Like that's actually yeah. really good. Yeah, I, I like the whole idea of like yeah. uh, how the Muppets are like a lower class yeah. citizens in this world. Yeah, and like not thought of it like as like actual citizens. Yeah, it's really cool because it goes over some actual social issues we're right. dealing with today, yeah. and so like and it, and it really does it. It really kind of like you're watching. That's kind of interesting, but like it just never executes it in the correct way mm -hmm. and no, nothing ever feels i don't want to say that nothing ever feels real but yeah. right. you know but like but i feel like it could it could have that this movie could have been really good and i felt like the biggest problem this movie had was the writing yeah i, I feel like they spent too much on the idea of trying to make this movie as dirty as possible that it, they didn't really focus on like actually being funny yeah they actually like writing it really yeah. well it was just like yeah. a, lot, a lot of the jokes they were just like dirty just to be dirty, which I don't mind like vulgar jokes every now and then if they're written correctly. But in this movie, they just like threw as many like dirty jokes just trying to be dirty, as dirty as possible. Yeah, like the movie Sausage Party, <laughs> I felt like that movie could have been written a tiny bit better, but not a whole bunch. The movie yeah. actually did go over a whole bunch of stuff, you know, uh, very, very like kind of under the, under the covers kind of, I don't know what that meant, but... Um, <laughs> But <laughs> I don't know. Secretly, not secretly, but you know, what I mean, yeah. kind of shadowed. I don't know. But anyways, 
the the writing of that movie it was vulgar it was very vulgar but it wasn't like vulgar lines it was vulgar jokes right and not even all vulgar jokes somehow it's just jokes mm-hmm. and so the movie the, the the writing in that movie was jokes this writing kind of reminded me a lot of chips right yeah. where the where the movie felt like all it needed to do was be dirty and I feel like this movie felt like it a lot more because Chips actually had no reason to go that route, like at all. Yeah. Chips had no reason to go that route. That movie has no excuse. Right. This movie kind kind of sort of has an excuse to where it's like, oh, it's puppets, so it's like if they if they do dirty stuff, then they're going to be funny automatically, yeah. which isn't true. And I understand why they did it, but they shouldn't have. They should have actually written real jokes, so they're not really going to give it a pass on that. Probably one of my favorite aspects of the movie was uh, the main puppets or. The main Muppet. Are they Muppets in this movie? They're puppets. puppets. Muppets are, okay, mu- yeah. okay. are copyrighted. Right. Okay. So the main puppet yeah. in this movie, the detective, his backstory, which is revealed throughout this movie, so I'm not going to say what it is, but that was, it probably wasn't the, written the best it could be, yeah. but I actually did enjoy it, and it was probably one of my favorite parts yeah. of the movie. What's really interesting is that this movie actually does, like, like there's a lot of relationship like development in this movie. That actually is kind of well done mm-hmm. uh, between Melissa McCarthy and Philip, which is the main the main puppet. And there's a lot of different decent things that go. That actually, like I'm looking at, it, like that's actually like a good idea. And I know I keep saying that. I just want to keep bringing that up. That this movie does have good ideas. This movie has fantastic ideas, really. Uh, but it just doesn't know how to execute them correctly. Because I felt like it's. I felt like. I felt like. The idea for the story had a lot of work put into it, but I feel like the writing, the writers were lazy. So I know we kind of said like some actual good things about this movie, but I don't want that to cover up the fact that we didn't say any of it was actual like good. You know, we said that the movie itself has really good parts, really good ideas, but none of it was actually executed correctly. Uh, this movie, I'm gonna say. It wasn't really even that entertaining. I don't mind that I watched it. I don't want to die because I watched it. I don't really want to die because after I watch any movie, that's a weird <laughs> thing. But you know, even I, Suicide Squad. <laughs> well, Suicide, <laughs> Suicide Squad. Um, but no, it just it really just wasn't that good of a movie. Yeah, like we've said throughout this entire video, this movie could have been a not like a great movie, not like one of the top movies of the year, but it could have been a pretty good movie. It just they tried to focus too much on the dirtiness. And I'm not going to say, like, all the jokes are cringy, but I did cringe at a good fair amount of them. And a lot of them just weren't funny, like, at all. There's only probably, like, two jokes that I laughed throughout the entire movie, which is a comedy, so it should have been funny at least. So we're going to say that The Happy Time Murders is 40% awesome. So I realize that a lot of times we do the same grades quite a bit, uh, but just want to let you know that we don't ever discuss our grades beforehand. We kind of just tell each other the grades and maybe we change it later on if we want to. Uh, but we do have proof of it and it's right here. So we're gonna do three, two, one, go? Yeah. On go? All right, you got yours? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. 40. 40. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> God, Jesus. Oh, okay, we got that on camera. Yeah. Well guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also comment and tell us what you thought about this movie. I don't know, maybe some people actually do like the vulgar humor of this. I know some people who do love it whenever their jokes are just vulgar humor. So let us know that. Maybe you have some arguments against us. We'd really like to see some of those. And uh, also, uh, like we said, um, if you have any ideas, if you don't like this setup, let us know. We really do like this table here. We feel like this table is good. We just need to add some stuff to this. Maybe some stuff in the background. We're not sure yet. We're, we just, we're just kind of going through the process. We have a completely new place, so maybe some new stuff will just happen to our channel now. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Two Awesome Men. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and you will see us later.